In this video, we are going to talk about the alternating and concatenating features and how they can be used in relation to repeat patterns. So as you can see here, I've got two repeats in three rows on my CAD screen, and I want to alternate these patterns because as you can see, the ghosts are stacking right on top of each other, the cats are right on top of each other. And so to give it a different look, more of a staggered look, what's really nice is right over here where we see repeats and rows, right underneath rows I have alternating. I can left click on the drop down box to see that I have a, two different options. One would be plus row on top and one is minus row on top. So if I left click on plus row on top, you can see that it's going to add an additional repeat starting with the top row and then it will add one every other row to give a staggered look to these patterns. So it's kind of hard to see where they would actually be stacking right on top of each other. I can also choose minus one row on top where we'll add an extra repeat to the second row and every other additional row as it follows. Concatenating is a nice feature because you can add interest to a quilt using more than one pattern in a row. Select the first pattern of your choice, hold control on the keyboard, and select additional patterns. The patterns are placed on the CAD screen in the order they were selected, and this sequence is repeated if needed. Concatenating patterns works well when the patterns have similar sizes, densities, and the start and end points are in the same relative position.